Fiscal 2, Week 11. For our geography, we'll be going up into uh, Europe and Asia. We have Moscow, Kiev, Russia, Siberia, and the Ukraine. All right, Siberia is east of Russia, going that way. And then show me Russia, that big old country there, all there. Show me Moscow, the city in Russia. Show me Kiev, a little another little dot, which is inside what? The Ukraine. And that's all that for geography. So our timeline will begin with Norman conquest. So we'll make an N and the sign for conquest and feudalism. Remember feudalism um, in Europe. And then we'll go to the Crusades. We have our cross that's on the shield. And then we go to Zimbabwe, which kind of means wall. So we make a wall, a backwards B. And then early Mali in Africa was big on the trading. The Aztecs in Mesoamerica will make a, you know, a triangle. Aztecs in Mesoamerica. And then we have Francis of Assisi and Thomas Aquinas. They were really wealthy, gave up their money for Christ, and they threw it away, gave it away. And Japan Shogun, whoosh, we'll pull our sword out. And Incas of South America, and they built their civilizations on mountains. So here we go. Starting with 1000 AD, 1000 AD, East-West Schism of the Church, Norman Conquest and Feudalism in Europe, the Crusades, Zimbabwe, and early Mali in Africa, Aztecs of Mesoamerica, Francis of Assisi and Thomas Aquinas, Japan Shogun, Incas of South America. History is tell me about the French. And here's a sign for French. The French Revolution. Oh. Uh, so in 1789, I will make a 789. The French and then revolution began when citizens, make a C, stormed the Bastille, a B, and fought for the declaration. Here's a sign for declaration of the rights of men. So the sign of rights of men. And then we do later, later, and then during the reign of terror, ah, the aristocrats' heads, let's do a sign for heads, were removed by the guillotine. So here we go. Tell me about the French oh, revolution. In 1789, the French revolution began when citizens stormed the Bastille and fought. For the declaration of the rights of men. Later, during the reign of terror, the aristocrats' heads were removed by the guillotine. And for English, we're going to do the indefinite pronouns to the song of Here Comes Santa Claus. And we're just going to go all the way down to either. But the whole song will do go for the next weeks 11, 12, and 13. And it goes like this. These are the indefinite pronouns. All another, any, anybody, anyone, anything. Both, each, either, everybody, everyone, everything. Few, many, more, most, neither, nobody, none, one, other, several. Some, somebody, someone, such. These are the indefinite pronouns. But this week we just stop at either. Moving on to our Latin. And this week is uh, Future Perfect Tense, and we'll use the uh, thing to remember us on a Future Perfect Birthday, we will shoot an arrow. So it goes like this. Arrow, eris, erit, aramis, eritis, errant, first conjugation, future perfect tense. On a Future Perfect Birthday, I will shoot my arrow. Arrow, eris, erit, eramis, eritis, errant, first conjugation. Future perfect tense. And for math, we're going to do the cubes. And uh, here we go. It's 1, 1 8, 27, 64, 125, 216, 343, 512, 729, 1,000, 1,331, 1,728. 2,197, 2,744, 3,375. And for science, we're going to move over and we're going to do what are the phases of the moon and its new crescent quarter gibbous full.
So here we go. We'll make a P for phases. What are phases? And a C for the moon. The phases of the moon are new, we cover our face, crescent, quarter, gibbous, and full. And we'll use the song Bad New Moon Rising by Clearance Clearwater Revival. Here we go. What are the phases of the moon? New crescent, quarter, gibbous, full. These are the phases of the moon. New crescent, quarter, gibbous, full. Did you hear the rumor about butter? Did I hear the rumor about butter? No. What's the rumor about butter? Well, I'm not going to spread it. You're not going to spread it. <laughs>